Welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to order mum supplies online. We are going to be using uh, mumsrs.com and I will have a link in the description. So I'm going to show you their website and how to navigate it and how to order. Here is the, they have a menu right across the top there. So easy to find, see all the different options of what they have. So this is my go-to place. It has been my go-to place for the last several months for ribbons, bling, uh, stuff like that. Some flowers. I still get some flowers from other places. I, I get trinkets from other places. And, you know, if they're out of a certain ribbon, then I'll get it from another place. So I usually end up ordering from two or three mum supply stores every season because it's just impossible to get everything you need from one place. And Luster is definitely going to be your go-to for Homecoming Mum Ribbons. It lasts the longest. It works well. It's cheaper than acetate. And um, it's just great. I love it. Um, for braiding, I would suggest that you buy like this number 3, 9, 16, and the number 5, 7, 8, which I'm going to order white in both of those. I'm pre-ordering because they don't have it available yet. It's going to be April before it ships. Last year it was very difficult to find white. Actually the last few years it's been difficult to find white in certain sizes. So I need to order early and get it pre-ordered to make sure that I get some. And they have, you can see all the different colors they have. I'm actually pretty set on all other colors. White is what I'm most concerned about. And um, I order more than one roll not just because I use a lot of white, but because a lot of braids I will work off the spool. But I like to double the white ribbon, especially, and a lot of braids I like to double the ribbon anyway, but especially the white. And so if I have more than one roll, then I can use two at a time. I can double the ribbon and I can work off the spool. So that's why I would suggest ordering multiples, even if you don't think you need it. But that's just my opinion. So here's the different... That's the different ribbons they have available. They do have imprint ribbons. Imprint ribbons are going to be pricey, but it's, you know, something really pretty and nice that you can put on your braids, and it's going to uh, make the, the braids more valuable, the mum more valuable. But if you're starting out and stuff, I wouldn't even worry about imprint ribbons. You can use pretty glitter ribbons. You can get... Uh, the diamond dust is very pretty. People like to have diamond dust. So... Imprint ribbon is not a necessity in mum supplies at all. I've actually never purchased any. This is going to be the first year that I purchased some, and I'm only going to start with one color and see how I like it. I'm going to go with gold on top of white for my senior mums, for the gold and white senior mums, because I have a lot more silver stuff. Silver is just easier to come by with bling and stuff like that. So I am like increasing my different. Here's a lot of the the bling that they have available and I have a lot of it already and I just got an order in and I ordered more bling and I ordered more gold because I realized last year that I got all this bling and I barely got any gold. So I'm trying slowly every year trying to get more and more gold stuff to use on the gold mums. And I love, love, see I have this in silver but I do not have it in gold so I'm going to order it in gold and I didn't even realize I had it in gold till I was uh, doing this video. So I'm definitely going to get that for my senior moms. Now, of course, I'm going to order all this gold and I won't get any gold, <laughs> gold orders. I never know what orders I'm going to get. So I just try to be the best prepared that I can be. Um, you know, but when you talk about all of my moms and the bling that goes on them, I definitely still use more silver than gold, which is why I always get more silver than gold. But I try to increase the gold stuff every year. So I have different stuff and I have more stuff to use. I don't want to use the same stuff over and over again. But you can see they have big rolls of some stuff. And this is going to be like, this looks like smaller flowers. You see it's 9mm flower bling. And the ones you order like off Amazon and stuff I think are like 15, which they have that too. So I'm ordering some more bling in this order. Right now, I haven't placed the order yet. I'm still adding stuff to my cart, but I wanted to show you guys uh, what all I'm doing. And, uh, the pictures, for some reason, aren't very clear on my laptop this time. I apologize for that. I don't know if it was their website or if it was my uh, uh, 
internet connection or what was going on because I it seemed like they were really clear before so of course when I'm doing a video they're not as clear but I do have almost every one of these blings that are uh, you see there's the nine millimeter again so you can either buy it like that or you can buy the big roll of it so it just depends on what you think you're going to use and that is that's still quite a bit it's just one strand but it's still a lot of bling and I had several of those last year in the different styles and different colors and you know didn't didn't use all of any of them so it's it's fun to have a variety but just go with what you can afford if you can only afford one style then start with one style and then add to it every year but don't you know, don't go overboard if you don't get a lot of orders or stuff. You know, just just find one that you really, really like and order that one. Or two, like if you get a silver and a gold. And just go from there. Just slowly add to your collection every year. We all have to start somewhere, so don't, don't worry about it. You do not have to have all of everything. <laughs> we want to have everything, but that doesn't mean we should. So I have the rectangular, um, the square, the wavy. I just got the wavy one in. Uh, that was in my last order. So I'm excited to use that one this year. So I didn't have that one last year. I didn't have the oval last year. I, I ordered it as well. I had some of the square, some of the rectangular, the, reg, the regular. This one's the regular one. Like you can get these off of Amazon. But I have not compared prices. I wasn't even looking at that. So I don't know, you know, some of those you might be able to get cheaper off Amazon, some not. But this bling, that bling, you'll find everywhere. Now the other ones, like those you're seeing, those you're not going to find everywhere. I really love that square bling there. There's the daisy bling. I have that in silver, I think. Or maybe I just got it in gold. I can't remember. See, it's getting to where I can't remember what I have. <laughs> But bling is fun to buy and you want it all if you're like me you want every style but to pick the ones that I like the best and then go from there and here's the flowers that they have available I just got in some five and a half inch ones I ordered a 12 pack of those so there's the styles and you can order these individually or you can get the bigger like the 12 pack which is what I got and it's cheaper per flower if you buy the 12 pack but again if you're not making very many you're just making them for your kids or you know just a few handful of people you may not need 12 but if you think you're gonna make them every year and you can go ahead and do the 12 pack I would and then already have them for next year Again, there's the six and a half, so you can do individual or you can do 12 pack. I actually, I bought a lot of flowers last year and I still have quite a few left over, so I'm good on a lot of flowers. There's the nine and a half, so they don't have a 12 pack, but you can get a six pack and you can see it is cheaper. It's like getting one free pretty much if I did my math correctly there. Now see, I use a lot of four, like three inch flowers and four inch flowers, so I have to get those somewhere else. So like I said, I can never get everything I need from one place. But like they, this place is my definite go-to. We, um, They have been awesome to work with. And then we recently met Daniel Morgan who owned this and they are wonderful, nice people, like just, just so great. So definitely I will always order from them first and then anything else I need, I'll go somewhere else. And they've got boas. They got a few colors available in boas. They don't have all the pictures of all the colors, but you can kind of get the gist of what they've got. And then they have all these foam things. And I did on my last order, I got the drill team boot, one of each. Very cute, very cute. That would look cute on a mum head or on a braid. Very cute. I really want some of those megaphones, but they've been sold out. I think I have one from somewhere else that I got, and I never have used it. <laughs> so I don't know why I want them. I haven't used that one. But those are, I saw some of those in person, and they're so cute. Like that soccer ball, super cute. So if you don't do cutouts, that's a great option. And even if you do, that's a great option just to have some. 
and then they have all those stickers which I like to cut my own vinyl a sticker so that's what I do I don't I don't buy stickers I mean the blingy numbers and stuff are really pretty but um, I just prefer to cut my own vinyl so that's what I do and they have some braids that you can order a little bit of plush they have some glue sticks so you can contact them they have clearance. I got some of that holographic ribbon in my last order too. I think I got red and purple. It's very pretty and it's thick, so it's gonna be awesome on, on braids. And I'm thinking like, uh, especially for like garter mums. Okay, I just realized that I did not go over diamond dust for some reason. I talked about it, but I didn't show it. So I definitely use some diamond dust. It did take me a few years to get it. Uh, to start using it, I used just all kinds of glitter ribbons, and I still use all kinds of glitter ribbons, but there are a lot of people that want diamond dust on their braids, and it is really, really great for braids, and it, it creases well, and it just works really well on most braids. So I do suggest you try adding that into your stuff, but it is not a must. Believe me, I did it for years without it, So, and I still sold lots and lots of mums, so don't worry about it if you can't budget this in. But if you can, I would start um, with it on a braid. So you've got the 7 8 there, and these are 100 yards, so it's going to last you quite a while. That's going to get you through. The 5 8 is also great on braids, and what I like about this is you can... Um, put the 7 8 luster behind it and show a little bit of the color so let's say you had royal blue with the silver on top that's going to look so pretty you can see a little bit of the royal blue showing through like if you make a victory braid or something really really pretty so think about that so they have the 7 8 which is going to be a common braid size then the one and a half which is going to be great on loops and such. So uh, for like behind the mum head or behind the flower on the mum head, I should say, or loop chains, stuff like that. Again, that's not a must. Um, so start with one size and fit that in if you can. They do have it in this size as well, the 3 8 So you can use that, you know, like as curling ribbon. But you can also put that on top of 9 16 luster and um, layer it like that. It is a little bit harder to work with, but it does work. And then again, like I said, the 5 8 uh, you can use that with the 9 16 It's a little bit bigger than the 9 16 or you, like I said, you can uh, layer it on top of 7 8 and you'll be able to see the 7 8 uh, on either side of it. So that looks really pretty on braids. And then you've got the number 2 and the 2 and 3 8 down there which are going to be, you know, the really big size, so bigger loops or um, as streamers. So I don't actually, I just got the, the two inch. I just got some of that, but I don't have the biggest one. I don't feel it's necessary. And this is the first year that I bought bigger than the number nine here, the one and a half. So on the five eights, the number three, they have soft gold and silver available. There are two colors of gold and they are from different brands, but some people, some customers will ask for soft gold and some will ask for regular gold. I would say that the regular gold is more common than the soft gold, so I would stick with that one. Here you can see that. And I had, I did a live recently and I showed um, what I got from Mums R Us. So if you want to see that, and that was on my homecoming, my Crafty Bugs Homecoming Mum Beehive channel that I did that live on. <laughs> then you've got your silver, you got your soft gold. And for some reason, the silver is cheaper. I don't know why. I'm just, I'm sure that it was cost them more money to buy. So <laughs> that would be why. The seven eights, they have all three colors. There's the regular gold, silver, and the soft gold. And I just purchased the regular gold at first, and then I started adding the soft gold in, in like one size, and then this year I have all, all the sizes um, that I could get. Like I said, I, I haven't bought the biggest size. I just don't feel it's necessary for my mums, so 
I'm not budgeting that in. They were not barking until I started recording. That's the diamond dust that you can order. Like I said, I would stick with either the 7 8 or the 5 8 eights to begin with. I think you'll use those the most. Okay guys, I hope that helped you out and don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment, and please be kind with those comments. Be kind to yourself. Happy mum making and I will catch you all on the next one.